In this video, we're going to look at the topic dimensional analysis. I've written some famous formulae on the page here. We have got pi r squared, the area of a circle, 2 pi r, the circumference of a circle, a half a plus b h, the area of a trapezium, 4 thirds pi r cubed, the volume of a sphere, l cubed, the volume of a cube, a half b h, the area of a triangle, and l w h, the volume of a cuboid. So because we know what these formulae are, we know automatically whether they're going to be an area, a volume, a perimeter, or a length, okay? And we don't need to analyze the dimensions. But what happens if we encounter a formula for the first time? We may need to discover whether it's going to be an area, a volume, or just a length. So it's very useful to be able to look at the formula and to be able to work out from the formula whether it's going to be a length, an area, or a volume, or in fact, maybe if it's inconsistent and neither of those. Um, so this topic looks at that and it's very useful because also in the exam, it's, they're going to give you or perhaps give you a formula and ask you to say whether it's going to be a length, an area, volume or neither. So firstly, if you have a length and you add another length to it, you just get a bigger length. So for instance, if this was four centimetres and this was seven centimetres, if you added them together, you get 11 centimetres, which is still a length. Likewise, if you subtract a length from a length, you get a shorter length. So a length plus a length is a length, and a length subtract a length is a length. Likewise, an area plus another area would be a bigger area. So an area plus an area is an area, and an area subtract an area would be a smaller area. So an area minus an area is an area. Likewise, if you add two volumes together, you're going to get a bigger volume, or if you subtract them, you're going to get a smaller volume. So if you're going to, if you either add a length to a length, an area to an area, or a volume to a volume, you just get the same dimension. So you'd either get a larger area, uh, length, or volume. Let's look at what happens whenever you multiply lengths together. Now, remember in the area of a rectangle is length times width. Now that's a length, and the width is a length. So length times a length gives you an area. Likewise, the area of a triangle is half base times height. Well, you've got the base, which is the length, and the height, which is the length, and then whenever you times those together, you get an area. Halving doesn't really, it doesn't affect the dimension, it just makes the, the area smaller. And pi r squared, well, you've got the radius, which is the length, and you times it by itself, so you're going to square the radius, so that's going to be length times length, which is an area, and times by pi just gives you a bigger area, okay? So whenever you want to, whenever you do a length times a length, it gives you an area. Or if you square a length, it gives you an area. Okay, if you multiply a length by a length by a length, you get a volume. Because a length times a length is an area, and an area times a length is a volume. So looking at a cube, you would do length times length times length, which would be the volume of the cube. Uh, the volume of a cuboid is length times width times height, and they're all length. So a length times a length times a length is a volume. And the volume of a cylinder, well, thinking about it, pi r squared is the area at the front, and times by the height, which is the length, you're going to get then the volume. So if you ever do a length times a length times a length, you get a volume, or an area times a length, you get a volume. And whenever you're dividing, you're going to go back down a dimension. So if you have an area, and you divide it by a length, so if you had the area of this rectangle, and you divided it by how long it was, you'd get the width of it. So an area divided by a length is a length. Likewise, if you divide a volume by length, you get an area, so you go down a dimension. Or if you divide a volume by an area, dividing it by two lengths, or divided by an area, you then be brought back down to a length. Let's have a look at some formulae now and see if they are lengths, areas, volumes, or neither. Okay, so let's have a look at some formulae and see if they are lengths, areas, or volumes. So let's start off with BH. So B is the length and H is the length. So it's going to be a length times a length, and a length times a length would be an area. So that is an area. Okay, another bit of advice I'd give you is if you ever have an, a number or a pi in any of these formulae, that you just ignore them because they're not a length, so you don't need to worry about it. So here you've got a half, a plus b times h. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross off the half because I don't need to worry about it. You've then got a length plus a length. Well, a length plus a length is a bigger length, so this is a length. And you're going to times it by the height, so you times it by a length. And a length times a length is an area. So this is an area. And actually, if you look on the front page of your exam booklet, you may see that this is the area of a trapezium. Okay, so we've got the formula 2 pi r. So we're going to see if this is a length, an area, or a volume. So again, cross off any number. So cross off the 2. And pi is a number, so cross off the pi. So you're just left with r, which is a length. So this is a length. And actually, when you think about it, 2 pi r, well, 2 times pi is the diameter. So that's pi times the diameter, so this is the circumference of a circle, which is just the length. 
Okay, this time we've got 4 thirds pi r cubed. So 4 thirds, we're going to cross that off, that's a number. And pi, we're going to cross that, that's just a number. So you're left with r cubed. r is a length, so it's a length times a length times a length. Well, a length times a length times a length is a volume, so this is a volume. Okay, so we're now going to look at some exam questions. The following formula I represent various lengths, areas, or volumes of the solid. So uh, this is probably a question. For each formula, state the where it represents a length, an area, or volume. So here we've got 4PR. So P and R were both lengths in the question. So we cross off the 4, and you're left with PR, which is a length times a length. And a length times a length is an area. This one. We've got 8 times P plus R plus S. So again, cross off the number. So you're then left with P plus R plus S. So you've got a length plus a length plus a length. So a length plus a length is a bigger length, plus another length is an even bigger length. So this is just a length. Let's have a look at another exam question. Okay, so this time we have to take wherever the expression is, or the expression is where, uh, where this time we've got to cross off, or take wherever it's going to be, a length, an area, or volume, or neither. So x, y, the done force, because that's a length times a length, and a length times a length is an area. So this one, we've got x, y, and then in brackets, x plus z. So first of all, let's do the brackets. x plus z, so that's going to be a length plus a length, which is a bigger length. So this is a length, and we're going to times it by a length and by another length. So you've got a length times a length times a length, which is a volume. Okay, this time you've got x, y, well that's a length times a length, which is an area, and you're going to add to that a length. Well, if you've got an area, so just say for instance this is 7 centimetres squared, and you try to add to it a length, which is just say 2 centimetres, well trying to add those, it doesn't really make sense, 7 centimetres squared plus 2 centimetres, you can't add um, lengths and areas together, so because you're trying to add an area and a length together, that doesn't work, so that's an either. And finally, you've got y squared. Well, that's a length times itself. So that's a length times a length, which is an area. Okay, and our final question we're going to do is, it says here are some expressions. So a cubed b, a squared bracket c plus b, 4abc, ab plus c cubed, and 4 pi c squared. And it says a, b, and c represent lengths. It says 4 and pi are numbers that have no dimensions, so it's giving you a clue to cross those off. And it said tick the two expressions which could represent volumes um, and tick underneath. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, so I'm actually going to state which ones they are, first of all, okay, and then work out, or state what which each of them is, so whether it is a length, an area, or volume, or neither, and then we'll tick the box afterwards. So this is a cubed times b. So that's a length times a length times a length times a length. Well, that's got four dimensions. So that's neither. That's neither a length, an area, or a volume. So this is none, okay? Because you can't have something with four dimensions in these types of questions. You've got C plus B. Well, that's a length plus a length, which is a bigger length. And we're going to times it by A and by A again. So we've got a length times a length times a length, which is a volume. So this is a volume. So we're going to tick that box. Okay, this one here. 4abc, so cross off 4, it's a number, and you've got a times b times c, that's a length times a length times a length, which is a volume. Okay, this one, this is an area, ab, because a times b, a length times a length is an area, and then plus c cubed, well c times c times c, that's a length times a length times a length, which is a volume, so this is a volume, and this is an area, and remember you can't add those together, you can't add different dimensions together, so that's none. And finally, cross off the 4 and cross off the pi, so you're left with c squared, so that's an area. So the answer to these questions would be the two that have ticked there.